Okay. You tell me that uh, you, you left off on. Hmm. He was. On what? He was uh. Nah, we just. This is a brand new one. All right. Special edition. What's up, I'm here. I mean, we got started like that. This is a special. <laughs> This is a <laughs> This is a special edition of vlog number 15. This is 15.1. Because the other one was going too long, we decided to just break it up in two parts. Right. But anyways, cuz we knew that this particular subject may take a little while. Yeah, it's kind of home for for uh the hip hop and the black community. Right. You know, it's it's a un, it's a taboo type of subject. It's we don't talk about it. We talk about it. But when we see somebody, we rarely see this situation go on with us. You know right. what I'm saying? I was asking Bells about it. Uh, how, how often have she been through it? How often have I been through it? Right. I haven't been through it too much. It's kind of like an untouched subject, but, you know, right. let Bells tell you about it a little more. Right. Pearl. My world. My world. Proud of you, she, she, you not get that no more to wear black. Hush. That's us. Hey! You see our article. Where you saw that at? It, it's in the new um, ASU magazine. What? Damn, we ain't talking about that. You ain't even put that in there. Yeah, I'll talk about it anyway. But anyway. Next week. This particular video, see, we always get sidetracked. Right. But anyway, so... All right, so the topic, basically, what we're talking about is hip-hop culture and living the gay lifestyle. We thought about it just after, you know, of course, the foolery that went down this week with DJ Mr. C. Right. Um, at High 97 in New York City. Right. Um, with his particular situation, he was um, caught for a third time. He was blasted this time with actual video evidence. Right. Um... Video evidence of picking up a prostitute and soliciting that person for oral sex. Come to find out, the person that he solicited was actually a very popular YouTube blogger named Bimbo Winehouse. Mm. That, you know, he crosses dresses sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Bimbo caught him on tape. Got you know, him, he got him. And he, um, he, Put it on his YouTube page and it just kind of, hey, it went viral. Gotcha. All the blogs picked it up. Um, I think um, Charlemagne and his crew over at the Breakfast Club. He also stated that they actually had he they actually had the video as well. Maybe a couple of days before Bimbo even put it out there. Um, so you know, this was Mr. C's third time. That us, the public, mm -hmm. knew, of. knew um, of his, you know, unfortunate, well, I ain't going to say it's unfortunate, but his his habit of picking up prostitutes. Um, his love. Yeah. Apparently, he, it is a love. He loves them. Yeah, he loves them. He, and he loves the act of a male that dresses like a woman, you know, mm -hmm. giving him fellatio or whatever. Right. Um, it's definitely a sickness for him. And so, you know, after the news broke, he was embarrassed and he immediately, you know, said that he was going to resign from Hot 9-7. Um, I guess his peers definitely want him to stay. You know what I mean? They feel as though by him finally coming out, you know, with this incident, it was time for him to really face the truth, let his fans know what the real deal is, and don't be afraid. Like, he could be the actual spokesman, spokesman or, you know what I mean, just the person that they can see in the hip-hop culture that, hey, this is real, mm -hmm. you know, people that that's in hip hop or whatever, this can happen to them. Mm -hmm. There are people that live this lifestyle or whatever. So, you know, they felt as though he could do more good than bad right. if he was to stay at the station and work as, you know, a DJ or whatever. He's a very legendary DJ. Icon. He's an icon DJ. Um, so, you know, they really didn't want to see him just in his career like this on this note. You know what I mean? So... Ebro at the station, he's actually, I think, the program, program director right. yeah. at Hot 97. He right. he brought Mr. C in. Mm -hmm. 
and they had a real deep conversation and Mr. C he really let it out you know he <laughs> said yeah. he said that yes you know he yeah. does have a problem with picking up the prostitutes he said it's something that he loved to do right when and, he get drunk right and um I don't remember him saying when he get drunk part it sound like when he's sober too I mean, it could happen. Oh. I ain't hear it when he get drunk part, but I might be wrong. Don't right. blame it on me. I thought it was just something like you, you right. said. You're right. It's just something that he, when he get the urge to do it, he, he likes to do it. That's what he do. He cruise right. the city at night and right. he find find these transvestites or whatever, and he paid them for their services. Yes, he do love women. He said. And this was like one of the crazy parts about it. He broke down in the interview several times, cried, cried, cried. You know, you really felt kind of bad for him because you know it's a sickness at this point and he really need help for it, you know. Um, let's, well, let's not call it a sickness. It is a sickness. He love it. If you love getting hair from a male, you, 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 you are what you are. It's a sickness in that... It's a sickness in that... It's not a sickness. If a he feels as though it's a sickness, though. You know what I'm it's saying? Not a sickness. If a man like a woman and he like to, he he, like he feels as though it's a sickness because everybody else, the world does not accept people in the hip hop world. You know who lives the hip hop culture <laughs> for being gay? You, they just don't. They don't accept right. it. We haven't right. accepted people right. being gay in this in in in. In hip hop, yet we haven't accepted it. Right, right. So at this point, all you can really call it is a a sickness. You know what I mean? It's a bad habit. It's a sickness. You know, it's a fetish that he loves to do. You know what I mean? I think it's a slap in the face to the gay community mm -hmm. for him to call it that to say he don't. And then he also we didn't talk. He just he said he wasn't gay, even though he likes to get into act and get fellatio from. Uh, transvestites and males and say he has he had this illness mm -hmm. he called it an illness for years mm -hmm. so he knew this this been going on for him for years he just like he told Funk Master Flex he won't get caught but he did get caught mm -hmm. and it's and, and the chickens are coming home to roost uh, uh, I don't think it's a sickness I think it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a play it's a situation that goes on in our community uh -huh. it's an unknown it's, a, it's an untalked about situation that goes on in our community that we don't talk about that uh, I don't say that twice but yeah it's an unknown situation <laughs> that we don't talk about as, as men that you know we don't want to look we don't we don't want to be looked at as gay the word gay just you know do something to me like you know, you call a man a fuck nigga. He gonna fight you. You don't call me no goddamn fuck nigga. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you, I ain't gonna say you're a fuck nigga, but if you like to interact with, with men, you are gay. In one form, with state form or fashion, but what we're trying to see, what we're talking about, what is the limitations? <laughs> what, what, what are requirements? What are requirements of I guess that's, that's really what... As far as him saying he's not gay, right? So you got people on this side that say, "Oh, he gay." Right. You know what I mean? Right. Any type of interaction with the same gender is gay. Is gay. Then you got the other side that says he's bisexual, <laughs> but he hasn't really. Even I don't think that? he even recognized it as being bisexual yet. He yeah. still in he has yeah. said he did say he's still in denial about it or whatever, which right. means he can't even quite categorize it yet. You know what I mean? As to what he what he is or what it is or whatever. And the only reason that he is categorizing it because he was caught, like he said. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have said nothing about it if he wasn't caught. Right. So he don't even look at him like he said he love women. Right. Of and course, that's what I'm saying. He categorizes himself as being not gay. Right, but because he's he's still in denial. Right. Yeah. So he, he did say that. Yeah, he's, he's in still some in, type of denial. He's in denial, so he can't categorize it in anything yet. To him, he feel at this point he feels as though he is absolutely not gay. Okay, so all right. So if he feels that way, then what is gay? Right. Like what are the requirements? <laughs> is like I said, if if same gender contact when it comes to oral mm -hmm. or 
um, full intercourse, mm -hmm. um, male on male, watching male on male porn, or mm -hmm. you know, female female porn. Mm -hmm. You know, because this can go for women and men. Although right. for women, it's more acceptable than it is for a man right. to be, you know, to live the gay lifestyle or whatever. I think because of the diseases. And, yeah, and the, it's and a lot the, more risky. Risky and the lifestyle that it carries. You know, you as a man, you supposed to be the head of the household, mm -hmm. and you turn around and interact in in in, in, in these type of natures, and uh -huh. then come back home and be with a woman. You mm -hmm. know, in our community, with with us being so hard, mm -hmm. hip hop being so hard, hip hop is a hard community. Right. You know, we always talking about. Shooting guns, selling and, dope, and, right, and all of this, and fighting. And How just, much money? You know, you get? everybody yeah. just kind of who you finessed out some money. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So hard. It's a hard community <coughs> to, to come across, and he is one of the the first. He ain't the first, but he is one of the first that that the hip hop communities have come across as as, as we, coming out. Right. We 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 let. Well, he's been that. forced. Yeah, he's been Mine's cool. like maybe Frank Ocean. He just kind of came out with it subtly through a little le a letter. But right. yeah, besides Frank Ocean, I can't think of really nobody else who's kind of come out the closet. Set them underground uh, gay rappers. I saw them in New Orleans. They do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They do that. Um. Your man in my house, and he second night digging on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they go hard. They go hard. That they thing. Hey, Manny Fresh even said, "Hey, they some good rappers." That's a good rapper. So Manny Fresh got that up a, a big legend right. there producer. I mean, they keeping the they keeping the New Orleans sound alive. Right, they keep New Orleans sound alive. So mm -hmm. you gotta respect it. But it goes. I think, oh, yeah. So not many people in hip hop have came out, mm -hmm. but we have heard of incidents. African Bambada. What do you do? You know, he playing with the church. Oh Lord, when this was? Black Bennett Rock. When yeah, that that's why he got, he got he got kind of black balls. He was playing with the children. Oh Lord, I don't remember that. I'm gonna have to Google that one. I don't yeah, that Mr. Beast Power. <laughs> Bennett Rock. <laughs> don't stop. <Yeah. laughs> he playing rocking all right. Anyway. Yeah. Mason Bethel. Oh yeah. He got caught in Atlanta. He was caught in Atlanta picking up trannies. And they say he on was, more than one occasion. Yes, and he put the towel around his head because he was embarrassed. And the, he he stayed in the car while they lifted his truck and put it on the on the flatbed of the truck. <laughs> he did not get out the car, and he's a pastor. Oh, now he yeah he he quickly ran to God yeah, after that. Praise God. He quickly ran to God after that. Then you know. You know, Eddie Murphy, he's not in hip hop, but you know, he's, he's, you know, African American. He had this incident years ago mm -hmm. about the tranny situation. Eddie Long. <laughs> we got to see. Eddie Long. Eddie Long stroke. But, you know, we just <laughs> trying to make the point that it's been incidents out there. Right. But. Of course, after a while, you know, you forget about it. It's brushed under the rug. Right. People continue to live their lives. We don't know if they still involved in that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Mr. C is just a... He opens it's going to be a minute movie. before the world forget about this. You know right. what I mean? Right. But it's good that you stepped up. Mm -hmm. You stepped up. And As you a man. spoke your truth. Mm-hmm. As much as you could at this point, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. You, he's probably still have the. He's gonna need like therapy sessions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because if he's still in denial, yeah, he definitely needs some counseling at this point. Because we got we got to get to the root. You know what I mean? I think the only reason that he's in denial root. because, like he said, how would the promoters that get that he gets money with look at him? Mm -hmm. How would but the sure, people? He gonna that, make a lot of money on the gay circuit. That's what they was telling him. You know right. what I'm saying? He opened up doors that never been opened up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let the people know, hey, this is what you do. He finna do, yeah, he, shoot, hey, it's a lot of gay clubs out there and gay parties. Right. He's making the same amount of money he making in the other club. So, he'll be all right. Yeah. But on a personal note, the guys that not Mr. C, the regular, every 
Joe Blows that do what Mr. C does, how it affects the community. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't mind. Nobody yeah, minds you being gay, right? But and yeah, we are critical as a community to 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 criticize. Oh, he bisexual, so that that keeps the guys that's in the closet in the closet. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of selfish. It's very selfish because if you gonna stick. If you're going to have interaction with a man or and a woman at the same time, you know it's very risky behavior and you know you should be you should you, you shouldn't do it. It's, man, women got a heart out here. Right. They All do. these wives and these girlfriends that right. got men that be living on the down low. It, right. They we got I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. We got a heart. Women have it hard. Right. Because we don't know what our dudes I gotta That's why I keep me a group of gay male friends. They couldn't tell you. They would tell me. They would tell you, but they couldn't tell you about this certain individual man that come out the rip that hell he coming out he coming to you with a manipulative mind. No, I'm just saying They could look saying, at him like he gay. Yeah, they don't say yeah, he gay. No, they, I'm just saying have them on standby. If I need to get some research done on somebody, <laughs> if I need to let them see a picture on them, and they tell me, oh yeah, we see him at so and so and so, you know what I mean? What if he new to the city? I mean, this this behavior, like I don't, they, I don't know, just gays in Atlanta. But I'm saying anywhere. But what I'm saying is, these this guy, Mr. C. He knew exactly what he was doing. Only way he got caught was a video. A gay man can figure out a gay man. They they can they can they know what they know how to finesse. Okay. To all get right. information, you know what I'm saying? All right. We all can go to dinner, and then you know it might be right. different things that they know. They right. know like right. it's different things that they know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm but thinking if a liar is a liar, <laughs> and I'm thinking that's why if 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 a woman is a liar. And he she don't want you to know she gonna do certain things. Hell, can't nobody know. If a man is a liar, he gonna do certain things that not let you know. Well, a liar is a liar. Right. You but know? if I have my my good Judy, that's what I call <laughs> my good gay gay guy friend with me right. at the same time. Right. They can fill them out for me. Right. Right. You. I mean, I don't. I guess. How you doing? You right. know. Right. How your mama doing? Right. <laughs> I, I can put this in the essay. Like certain things, you know right. what I mean. It's just a way, like you say, like people have gaydars or whatever the case right. may be. Right, right. Just you, you can feel somebody out. Mm -hmm. You can feel somebody. My, Ain't nobody my, that good now. My first experience <clears throat> with dealing with a person that wasn't broke wrist. We know that all the typical. Hey, not those. Yeah. We talking about that hard with a hat you like me. Yeah, you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell. I was working at a group home mm -hmm. in Birmingham, and this young man was, he would bust your damn head wide open. <laughs> he would thug He would thug, he would, hell, I was grown, and I was afraid of him busting my motherfucking head. <laughs> he was ugly, black, but he was institutionalized in group homes, mm -hmm. and, but he was gay. Mm -hmm. And we, if we called him out, he would damn near fight you. About him being gay. I ain't gay. He'll turn the whole unit out. Uh, Everybody, the whole night will be over. But that didn't, you, you didn't know it until he did an incident with a child. And he uh, grabbed them or rubbed their penis or whatever the uh, case may be. It was just wild. And I never thought of it like, right. hey, he ain't gay. Well, maybe he was just maybe trying to fight his demons. Fighting y'all is like fighting away his demons. Like, he probably... In denial itself, you he know what I'm saying? Just, I mean, you know, certain certain people do go through that. Right. You know what I mean? I'm sure, like as young men, mm -hmm. it's certain young men that go through that who battle, like, am I or am I not? You know what I mean? Like, right. like I am kind of attracted to it, but it's wrong. I'm right. supposed to be doing that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So him fighting y'all, right. he's taking aggression out on y'all because he's really internally fighting himself. Because he don't really know what he is at this point, you right. know. It was it was kind of heavy, and mm -hmm. I, I took it as, yeah, he is gay, but circumstances made him this way. Right. He been in a he been in he been institutionalized since a child, 
So who to say a grown man didn't take a, a older child and take advantage, advantage of him? him. Right. And when he got at a side, that's all he knew. That's all he knew. Right. And you got that going on in the community, mm -hmm. and they'll get out and you know we always not we, but you know the women. I need a thug, and he not was no a more. thug. <laughs> not no more. <laughs> he was a thug. He'll bust a nigga ahead to the white man. But he was in two slide with this gay mentality. And right. I mean, I don't had at least two friends. Mm -hmm. I had a, a, penalty, a friend that goes to jail all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about all the time. All the time. Since high school to uh, now, he's been in and out a jail. A jail. He know the system. Everybody always had the whispers. Like right. he hit them. He hit them boys. Wow. But he get out in them streets and he hit all the girls. He was a he was a ladies man, you know what I'm saying? Then we had another fellow. Yeah, he was a ladies, uh, well, ladies man, right. but he he went cold turkey on him and like I, was, <laughs> I like boys. You know, like cold turkey, but you know, you, it, it's it's certain situation that yeah. with that, but it, it, it fixed the community. Right. But at the end of the day, it's just all about living your truth. Like right. young kids. Who really struggling? Right. We can't really expect them to live their truth. You know what I'm saying? Because they still trying to figure it out. But and once the you get adult, not over. it's not big right. enough avenues for them to to live honest like we want them to live honest. I heard a little girl too. Right, especially now with kids killing themselves because right. people bullying them right. and stuff like that. They can't right. really live honest unless it's like maybe they go to a school or live in a neighborhood where it's a lot of them. You right. know what I mean? So right. it's kind of like they overpower. Mm -hmm. And as a man, I think sometimes it also consists of the, the single parent situation. Mm -hmm. it, when we was growing up, you knew who was okay. This was gay. This was gay. You you could cook. now it's like it's so widespread. Mm -hmm. I I kind of put some of it on. They was born like this. I put some of it as born in a single parent home. You know your mom. You raised around your mom, and you do. <laughs> You, you look up to your mom. As a man, Kanye West said, he looked up to his mom. Mm -hmm. He do got... He do got a little feminine. He got a feminine way to it. He looked up to his mom, and he was raised by his mom. Mm -hmm. And these guys that was raised by their mom, and look up to their mom, and, and carry w ways as like their mom. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. All that was... <laughs> all that old... But they saw their mama do it. They ain't had no male in their life. <laughs> You know, so they tried it. They experimented it. Right. You know, and they saw this guy that hey, he kind of related to what I was growing up in. Hell, I related around my mama, saying that the child related around his mama, mm -hmm. and then he go to school with a guy that was related around his mama, but he's a more alpha male than him, mm -hmm. and he turns him on to that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that everybody's like that, but it just. I think that's it's plays just a role. Different, sir, yeah, it's just different different circumstances. You know right. what I mean? It's like you grow up, like you said, some people could be born that way. I think some, some are people born. Just um, yeah, I definitely think some some are born that way. Mm -hmm. um, some could possibly influence. maybe just yeah because of influence, and then they gradually begin to like it more mm -hmm. and more and more. It becomes their preference. You and know then we as a society tell them, hey, once you went there, ain't no coming back. Mm -hmm. And as a way, yeah, you're right. Right. But you should have never went down. You know, and, and, and it's selfish. In another way, it's selfish. Yeah. You want to try this and try that. And right. And it's some, it's some people out there who may have been in that alternative, you know, lived alternative lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But either because of, you know, the um, their own spiritual factors that played, you know, played a part in it where they mm -hmm. kind of just feel like, hey, spiritually, because of the Bible and all of that, it's wrong, mm -hmm. blah, 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 you know, and they went back to the other side, yeah. you know. Donnie McClurk. Exactly, prime example. He, but he, who's he to say, there. I mean, he ain't got married yet or nothing to a woman, so I don't, you know, I, I'm skeptical skept right. about him. You He's know still like, boy. It's just probably so undercover, which right. is fine. You know, he right. probably just lived his life how he lived it, right. but but to just not be out in the open, like, right. okay, I've come to grips, like, this is me, <laughs> as Dunny McClurkland, right. you know, yes, I am, you know what I mean, right. a gay gospel singer, right. and just leave it like that. But he has never came out, you know, as far as saying... Um, yes, I'm gay. You know right. what I mean? He, he, he got several of them. Kurt. Kurt said he was addicted to porn. Right. 
We don't know what type of poem you was well, digging Right, to. we don't know what type of poem. So, you know, that is what it is. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> it is an issue in the community, though. We, we should Y'all don't about jump, out, <laughs> jump on us. <laughs> now, yeah, I, I'm sure nobody should just, jump on us. I mean, we it's just real. keeping it real, you know what I mean? We and just, they know, people know people that's oh, in yeah, their yeah, lifestyle yeah, yeah, yeah. and have issues. Yeah. And we're not downing them, but when you pollute the community with the risky behavior, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That, that the, comes a problem. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Risky risky behavior and living a lie and net, not letting your partner know. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Not protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. um, that that's the real. That's the issue. You know, everybody need to. At the end of the day, everybody. All you have is your life. Your mm -hmm. life. You know what I'm saying? All the life that you created. All the life that you created, and. It ain't really up to you to have to sit and ponder and wonder, you know, whether or not somebody else is going to respect your life or, you know what I'm saying? And be strong-minded. I don't care if it's your family. I don't care if it's your friend. Do you. Mm -hmm. Do you. Because why live your life with all that worry and all that fear you know what I'm saying of the unknown you don't know you know what I'm saying it's like why even just be happy try to live the best life that you know how to and live you, and you don't have to and I, if you gonna put it on a, a, a financial terms and this your job you don't have to address it mm -hmm. you don't have to address it like we said Donnie McClurkin don't address it right Luther never addressed it right and he sung to the lady and the lady will fall out with their panties oh oh Luther but he never addressed he it. He never addressed it. You keep it professional. You don't have to. If that's what you want to do, right. you keep it professional. You'll right. never have to address what you are. But let it be what it is, though. Right. Not. Don't cross some lines. Yeah, don't don't do the folk. You know. Don't be fugazi about right. it. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Don't don't still be dating women, but yet you over here sleeping with a dude. Right. Don't don't do that. I rather right. you just kind of. You know, just your immediate friends know what it is, and you just live a real chill, laid back lifestyle, mm -hmm. not really in the public's eye, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Then you live in a straight up lie. You right. know what I mean? You hurting right. families, you hurting your kids. If you got kids with this woman or whatnot, right. you know, just just try to live live as who you are. You right. know what I'm saying? If that's what you like, that's what you like. But as far as the hip hop culture goes. You know, I personally, I I thank Mr. C for coming out. You know, finally saying, yeah, in a way. In you know what way. I mean? Just really making it known, like, hey, even DJs go through this. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. people go through this, and um, I don't know. Will we see more people in the hip hop community come yeah. out? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or not? You know what I mean? Be like, Shh, bump it. I am right. who I am. You know, that ain't gonna change my music. Right. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't. You know right. what I'm saying? But um, and that, and that spotlight is so only so big. Mm -hmm. It's only so big for so many people to fit in it. Right. You know, and and and, and like you said, what's the what's the first rapper from New Orleans with the gay rapper? When we he said he came out. Um, Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean, probably one of the first. Said he was bisexual. Right. And he it, knows what it is. Right. He liked both sexes. So I mean, you it's know, it's only so many, it, and the avenue is so only so big. But right. be honest with yourself, mm -hmm. and and it's a big, to be honest. If you are honest, this is a big avenue for you to get money. Yeah, you can't get money on that side. You of the can't bit. get. That's where all the money. At. Right. You Once know. you got the gaze on your side, <laughs> <laughs> especially as an artist. Right. Once you had the gays on your side, and then once you have Elton John white folks on yeah. your side, yeah, you you, you need guarantee that you can lay back and relax, right. but because you that's like where all the money, at. you got that money going. Elton John been doing it for years. That's where all the money. At. So hey, them, them big women that forget these forget yeah. these other folks over these black rappers and trying to be hard. Let me <laughs> <laughs> what, right. that, what that big lady name? Them two ladies. It's raining men. Oh, uh, 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 whatever they name. They still getting money right. off this. They still getting money off that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj was getting money before she was getting regular folks' money. Right. I saw one day she came and did a, a show mm -hmm. down in Atlanta, and it was on the 
It was the weekend. What, Pride weekend? Yeah, it was Pride weekend. She was getting money. All of them get money from them. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't be, don't be fooled by it. Right. It is what it is. Right. But, um, yeah, so we just wanted to do this little segment, you know what I mean? And, um... The extended and PSA? Just, you know, just... Even just outside of hip-hop, as an African-American, we can't continue to allow things like sex, things like sexuality just be so taboo like right. we can't we can't do that you know what i'm saying because it's it's just it's hurting you know what i mean it's it's, it's hurting the kids it's hurting us you know what i'm saying we have to be willing to talk about these things open and honestly that's the only way we're going to be able to progress that's the only way we're going to be able to find solutions to you know problems um that's the only way we're going to be able to really and truly live free as people, you know what I'm saying, is right. to come to grips as to who you are as an individual and um, and not be afraid to talk about certain things. So, you know, hopefully in the near future, ooh, excuse me, hopefully in the near future, you know, topics such as this can be talked more. Whether it's in the church, whether it's in the schools or whatever, you know. So we have we have guests that want to share their experience of. Huh? We have guests that want to share their experience. Right. Oh, uh, they was hiding it and finally had to come out. What made them come out? Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Mr. C. Um, hopefully he continue his career on the radio station and doing his thing. I Man mean, up. first definitely get some therapy sessions in there just to get to the point where you're not in denial. Get to the point where you can actually define who you are and what your sexual preference is and your lifestyle so that you can be clear. Clear about it and just live freely, you know yeah. what I mean, for the rest of your life. It ain't like you out and killing people or whatever. Nah. You still have a life. Right. You know, so definitely don't soak in it. Definitely don't, you know, let it get too bad where you want to commit suicide or something like Please that. Please don't do it that. Ain't, I mean, it's not that. It's not. No, nah, it's not. It shouldn't let it. You don't let it get that serious, in other words. But, um, what else you got to say? That's it. That's Until it. next week, y'all, we'll be back with vlog number um, 16. Yeah. So, holla y'all later. Peace. Peace.